Hi and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor and in this section we're going to tackle the concept of rational functions and especially with a focus on graphing rational functions. Okay? Rational functions, uh, first of all, before we just get into it, uh, they're no different than any other function you already know about. Because they have a word in front of them that says rational, sometimes people think, well, these are different or hard or confusing or something you know, uh, that's really difficult to understand, but they're not. They're just any other function with a special form, and we're going to talk about that form here, and we're going to show you how to, uh, how to plot those and how to sketch graphs of them and just generally how to think about functions that are rational. So the uh, big picture is that a rational function Okay, and I'm going to underline this because this is kind of a uh, you know something you have to learn as a as a term has the form of the following. It's just a certain form. That's all it is. F of x is equal to I'm going to call it p of x over q of x. Okay, all this means is p of x is some polynomial x squared plus 3x plus 2 whatever. Q of x is some other polynomial, 2x plus 3 plus whatever. All it's saying is that a rational uh, function is a function that has a polynomial on top and a polynomial on the bottom as a fraction. That's all it is. Okay, it's, it's very, very simply all it is. So it's really not that big of a deal. So some examples of rational functions would be, uh, let's say, f of x. The simplest one is 1 over x. That's one that's, that's really important, okay, uh, because... See, the top polynomial is just a constant, okay, you can have a, it's technically a polynomial even though it's just a number. The bottom is just a very simple polynomial of, of degree 1, okay, you've been working with that one. Uh, another rational fu uh, function would be f of x is equal to 1 over x squared, okay. Again, there's a polynomial on the top, it's a really simple one, it's just a constant, and then there's a polynomial on the bottom. Uh, another example would be f of x is equal to uh, x cubed plus 2 over uh, x squared. See there's a polynomial on the top and a polynomial on the bottom. So they look complicated but they're really, uh, they're just a function. Uh, f of x is equal to x over x minus 9, polynomial on the top, polynomial on the bottom, and just one more grand finale, f of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2x. There's a polynomial on the top, polynomial on the bottom. That's, that's all that's going on here. That is what is called a rational function. So the trick is, uh, or the, uh, the point of this is, to not only know what the rational function is, but to try to be able to sketch plots and to kind of know in general what they look like. Okay? So the basic rational function, the most basic one that uh, there is, that's useful, is the one that you've been looking at a lot but maybe don't know what it looks like. f of x is equal to 1 over x. This is sort of the granddaddy. This is the basic one and what we're going to do is we're going to learn a lot about this one and then that's going to help us learn about some of these other ones. Okay? This looks like this if you were to plot it. x and obviously f of x. Okay? It looks like this and then we'll talk about it. Let me, uh, let me draw it in a different color just to make it just totally clear. It's going to look like this. Okay, it's got arrows everywhere because it goes on forever, like this. That's what it looks like. Okay, now notice that what happens here is let's just think about it for a second. Okay, if I plug in values of x that are very very big, so I have I, 